By the year 2050, it's estimated that there will be another two and a half billion people on the planet. That's another China and India. And one of the most pressing questions we need to answer with a growing population in the face of a changing climate is how are we going to feed everyone? We've come to After Hours here in At Bristol to find out about some foods of the future. First of all, if we're going to grow more crops, where will we find the land to do it? Well, one solution is not to use the land at all, but instead turn to the seas. Algae are simple, single-celled plant organisms that can grow very rapidly at sea. They may be at the bottom of the food chain, but are already widely consumed in places like China and Japan. They range from microscopic slimes to gigantic seaweeds and kelp. And with so many varieties, the taste can vary quite a lot. If we're going to be growing more, we need to think about which crops are going to be resilient to a changing climate. Quinoa is a grain crop with edible seeds renowned for its hardiness. It's grown in a variety of climates, from coastal regions in Chile to over 13,000 feet in the Andes. However, the growing popularity of quinoa in the Western world has seen its price triple. In Bolivia and Peru, where quinoa is grown and used as a staple food source, poorer people can now no longer afford it, and so instead, imported junk food is much cheaper. Locusts, grasshoppers, spiders, wasps, worms, ants, and beetles aren't found on your typical Western menu. But thousands of species are eaten across Africa, Latin America, and Asia. With rising food prices and land shortages, it should be just a matter of time before insect farms are set up in the UK. They're also good for the environment, since the creatures are far better at converting plant biomass into edible meat. And they also emit far less methane. So all that's left to do is just tuck in. Crunchy. Like, a bit dry and papery. It needs some sauce, I think. Next week, we'll be investigating the science of making honeycomb. So for more incredible edible science, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.